Your 2018 mem in it, you stated, and I quote, the framers' plan contemplates that the president's law enforcement powers extend to all matters, including those in which he had a personal stake, end quote. Please explain what you base this conclusion on. Y yes. Here's the Department of Justice right here. And within the Department of Justice, enforcement decisions are being made. The president's over here. And I think of it as there are two categories of potential communications. One would be on a case that the president wants to communicate about that he has no personal interest in, no political interest in. Let's say the president's concerned about Chinese stealing trade secrets and say, I want you to go after this company that's being, you know, that may be stealing trade secrets. That's perfectly appropriate for him to do, to, to communicate that. But whether it's bona fide or not, the Department of Justice's obligation and the Attorney General's obligation is not to take any action unless we reach, we, the Department of Justice and the Attorney General, reach their own independent conclusion that it is justified under the law, and regardless of the instruction. And that's my quote that everyone is saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sicking the, you know, it's okay for the, uh, for the uh, president to direct things. All I said was, it's not per se improper for the president to call on the department for doing something, especially if he has no personal uh, or, or political interest in it. The other category of cases, and let's pick a, you know, an easy bad example, would be if a member of the, uh, the president's family or a business associate or something was under investigation and he tries to intervene. He, he's the chief law enforcement officer and you could say, well, he has the power, but that would be a breach of his obligation under the Constitution to faithfully execute the laws. So in my opinion, if he attempts, if a president attempts to intervene in a matter that he has a stake in to, to, to protect himself, that should first be looked at as a breach of his constitutional duties, whether it also violates a statute depending on what statute comes into play and what all the facts are. 